Hi everybody, I am Ayyar Prasad. Now I am going to discuss Randomized Algorithm. Randomized Algorithm, this is a topic from first unit, first chapter introduction from DAR subject, Design and Analysis of Algorithms. This topic I have missed in my videos, but previous question paper this was asked many times. Actually this uh, regulation, this question was not directly in the syllabus, but this question was asked many times like uh, first unit video I have shooted from that he was jane to was asked like explain las vegas algorithm las vegas is from this only las vegas randomized algorithm and he is also asked like explain about randomized algorithm and one more question uh, august 2021 and may 2019 two times he is asked like write and explain randomized quicksort algorithm Actually, we have quicksort separate is the part is there from second chapter divide and conquer. We have mesh sort is also there and heap sort is not there. In heap sort, mesh sort, quick sort, out of this all, randomized quick sort is very fast. Out of mesh sort and quick sort, quick sort is faster. You can watch my previous videos. I, otherwise, I will put in my i card and I will attach in my end of the screen. Watch till the end and I will put in the description box also. Uh, in Mexart we need to separate the set in an array and we need to sort it again we have to match it that takes more time whereas quick sort we will sort immediately by separating it and sort it that we automatically it will be sorted you can watch in my quick sort video whereas randomized quick sort will be very fast randomly we will sort it so that is the depth of the topics you need to read in that manner because in this topic only, randomized algorithm is a topic syllabus given in the Jane 2 syllabus. That was asked three times. Explain about Las Vegas algorithm and the difference between Manto Corlo algorithm. These are two scientist names. There is a slight difference. And he is asked about randomized algorithm. Sometimes he will ask about Las Vegas algorithm. Sometimes he is asked about quick sort randomized algorithm. In 15 it also he asked a question on this topic. So listen carefully. Now uh, in a algorithm, if you want to explain with a diagram, in a algorithm we will give some inputs and it will receive to the algorithm or program and it will give some output. That will be deterministic, determined with some definitions, with some certain finite number of steps, we will get a definite definite output a particular exact output if you don't give inputs properly we'll get random output that is called non-deterministic algorithm you can watch in my fifth unit np hard and np complete there you can understand clearly non-polynomial deterministic algorithms whereas here this is just a deterministic algorithm but here it is randomized algorithm, random numbers, right? For this, we need to do here random inputs. Random numbers. We need to give some random numbers. So it is called a randomized algorithm. So random inputs will be given here. So this deterministic algorithm and general algorithm will become as randomized algorithm. Just like for example tossing a coin and throwing a die. Like we will play snake and ladder. There we have a die like this. You can zoom it. You will put your phone into horizontal and zoom in a little bit. You can see die. When we throw a die, the probability of getting 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 6 are we cannot say that is called random. So if you throw three dice at a time and three coins at a time, if you toss head and tie, those are the examples of this randomized algorithm. This was explained in two ways. Las Vegas algorithm, one scientist explained in one type and Monte Carlo algorithm is another type. Now coming to the definitions and the information. Randomized algorithm here, first point, randomized algorithm is one that makes use of randomizer, means random 
number of generators, random number of inputs will give random number of inputs, not exact inputs. Random number of these inputs and as well as random number inputs. Then this deterministic general algorithm will become as randomized algorithm. Some of uh, the decisions made in the algorithm depend on the inputs of the randomizer. Because of these randomizer, this can be say that it has randomizer, random inputs, random generator. Because of this, the output will changes. The output will change. The time complexity, space complexity will changes. So randomizer algorithm is a technique. It's a technique that uses source of randomizer, nothing but random inputs. The part of its logic. In its logic, we'll give some random number of inputs, right? Then it is typically used to reduce. Here the key point: reduce. This algorithm is advantages of this algorithm. Sometimes you will ask, what are the advantages of randomizer algorithms? There you need to know the depth of the subject. It will reduce either the running time, nothing but time complexity, and or are the memory used thing. It will reduce the memory used, nothing but space complexity. The space occupied by algorithm or are of the program in the hard disk is called space complexity. It should occupy less space. It should execute fast. Then we'll get the software done very fast. Time should be, uh, run fast and memory should be occupied less. With these algorithms, we can achieve this too. It will reduce. It means randomized algorithms. I wrote here. Are a randomized algorithm typically used to reduce either the running time or our time complexity, the memory used or our space complexity. It will reduce. So here, randomized algorithm can be categorized, classified into two classes. Two classes. One is Las Vegas algorithm. Las Vegas, very very important. And the second one, Monte Carlo algorithm. These two are two classified for this randomized algorithms. Right here, this is something like definition. This is a general point. This is also general point. This is important. This, these are advantages. This is definition. These are advantages. And some examples here. Examples are tossing a coin, not a coin. Tossing three coins. Tossing a coins means uh, the probability of getting head and tail. But if you toss three coins at a time, we'll get so many probabilities. Random, randomly we are throwing it, so we'll get random uh, outputs. And uh, rolling a die. Rolling three dice at a time. If you roll one die only, you will get one to six number like this. One dot, two, three, four, five, six. If you die, if you throw three dice at a time, you will get so many probability that comes under randomization. With this algorithm, we will save time and we will write a program, Java program. Then we will create softwares. Uh, playing lottery, lottery draw, and all gambling, doing some gambling. These are example, etc. Are the examples. One of the example in the test book given. These are test book points only. Tossing three coins at a time. One coin means two possibilities. One either head H or tail T. We are tossing three coins. Probability is two. Means two power three. Here we get the probability like head and tail two tossing three coins. So eight probability we are getting. So we are we are tossing three coins. The two probability, two power three means head, 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 tiles, head, tile, head, head, tile, tile, head, 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 tile, head, tile, 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 head, head, tile, head, tile, 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 head, tile, tile, tile. These are the probabilities we will get. Eight probabilities. So this is the theory and the definition. This is the algorithm, uh, basic diagram. When you add random numbers to it, randomizer, then it will called randomized algorithm. I will follow up this video with Las Vegas algorithm. Then next video, the difference between Las Vegas algorithm and Monte Carlo algorithm. They will I will write algorithm also. Right? All the best for your exam.